idea is to use a commercial commodity smartphone, utilize the camera and the processor to provide the processing platform and data analysis platform for a device that, that would attach to it to do disease detection. You could also use the uh, location availability in the phone, the GPS unit, and the data connection to send information back and forth about where disease outbreaks were. You could weed out you've got a cold or, or you know, that's just a bad case of flu to something like you have bird flu or dengue fever or any other uh, diseases that are out there and it would allow you to again apply your resources very effectively. It makes the difference between wading through a, you know, a waiting room of a hundred people all thinking they, they have bird flu versus looking at somebody, looking at results from somebody and isolating the one or two people that actually do, thus preventing the spread of the disease in the community and then reducing the actual capital cost of treating that. So it, it, it's the usual thing with healthcare. The earlier you can treat people, the earlier you can treat symptoms, the cheaper it becomes. If you leave it to the last minute, it becomes very expensive. And with highly contagious diseases, the quicker you can act on it and the quicker you can isolate those people and stop them spreading the disease, the cheaper it becomes. Mobile phones now are getting so powerful with so much um, sort of extra computing power on them that's now we utilize to, to watch videos, to edit videos on some phones. Sending messages we take for granted now, but there's actually quite a lot of inf infrastructure there that's required to do that. But I can send you a video of me playing uh, playing outside, and you can receive it in under a minute. The phones are very, the phone cameras are very high resolution. Why not capitalize on this uh, device as a platform, develop a, a, an open analysis uh, scheme for these that t maybe takes a small box that connects via. Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or even a plug-in to the phone that can then run the biological side of uh, the, the component of this and then sends the data back using and analyzes the data using the phone and sends it off to sort of the, the back-end network, the researcher or the health authority. This device would need to be uh, supplied with um, kits to detect the appropriate pathogen. It's very good, difficult to do a sort of shotgun detection, what have I got, and you know, out comes the answer, so it would have to be a very targeted approach. But for people that are, say, fighting tuberculosis or, or other systemic diseases that have very, very long treatment regimes, you could monitor that in the field. There would be no need to come into a hospital to check or a doctor's surgery to check your, your viral load and how you're progressing. You could do a simple DNA test or a simple assay on, this, on the phone data gets sent back to the doctor and the doctor can make an informed, again, not, not just based on what you feel like, he's actually got some real numbers there, so he can treat you and check, check your regime, check it's working. Um, and so now medicine becomes a lot more precise, if you will.